Greetings RC Model Geekers. Now, in one of our previous videos we showed you that we'd bought some of these new XT60 connectors like these ones here. Okay, mm -hmm. now it's been brought to our uh, attention uh, that some of the uh, older RC uh, modelers out there uh, are having trouble soldering these new connectors and uh, and melting them. So we thought we'd do a, a little video, A, to see if it's true that um, these melt when you solder them, uh, and B, show you how to do it correctly. We'll move over to the, uh, the soldering bench and uh, have a go at one of these connectors and let's see if we can melt it. Okay. Right, so um, here's our little setup. We've got a vise here to hold it. We've got the opposite end of what we want to solder. Um, that acts as um, uh, a bit of a heat sink and it also acts to hold it. Mm -hmm. uh, and here is the connector that we're going to be soldering. Okay, and this is one of the new XT60, I think they're called U's, aren't they? XT60U. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go, XT60U. So, as you can see, we've done nothing to it at the moment, and it all looks lovely jubbly. Yeah. So we're going to put it on there, ready for soldering. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we've got our iron set to 360, well, it's running at, was it's 360, there you go, look, yeah. dropping down slightly, heat on. Yeah. But it's, it's set to, you know, be as, as close to 360 as possible. Mm -hmm. The first thing we're going to do to this connector is we're going to tin it. Okay. Yeah. What do I shift round to the other side? Do you want to shift round to the other yeah, side I'll there, mate? Shift round to the other side. Ah. Right. There we go. I'll see so, I cleaned my tip up. See if I'm getting nice. So, got some normal uh, 60 40 lead there. Uh huh. Um, and my soldering iron. So, we're going to tin this up. There, and we'll tin up the other side. There. Mm hmm. Oops. Okay. And we've got a 60 amp ESC here um, with a couple of bits of heat shrink yep. that we're going to be putting onto there. Okay. Okie dokie. Uh, let's just see, there's the negative end. So, we'll have a little bit of solder ready just in case we need it to get the, the heat flowing. Get it on there. Oops, little dab of solder, get the heat flowing, get the bucket nicely wet. Drop that in there, boom, Bob's your uncle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oops. And then we'll do the same to the other side. Just a small dab of solder to get the heat flowing again. Yeah, got that nicely. Yeah, bucket's nicely wet. In with that, done. And there you have an XT60 soldered. Okay. And and how does that look to you on there, uh, Colin? That looks pretty good. Pretty um, good. Can't see any deformation in the plastic, and the uh, soldering joint looks um, looks good. Yeah. All right. Let's pull it out. Let's have a look at the other end. Don't know if we can get some light down there. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that looks alright. And down in there. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. And let's try plugging it together with some uh, some XT60s. Yeah. Perfect. No problem at all. So, um, I don't know. Went alright for us. Yeah. Um, there you go, people. That's how you solder one correctly. So, um, you know, what more can we say? Not a lot. Not a lot. <laughs> like, comment and subscribe and, uh, and pass it on to RC Model Reviews because he obviously needs a little lesson. <laughs>
<laughs> and don't forget we're on the Facebook group, guys, and Twitter. And Twitter, yeah. Facebook, Twitter. Uh, come and join us and have a bit of a laugh, which yeah. is what it's all about. Yeah, of course it is. Okay, there you go. Um, we'll get this uh, heat shrunk up and, um, and go and enjoy some flying with our new XT60Us. Excellent. See you all soon. Yeah, bye. Bye.